Hey there, I'm John Zimmerman with Upper Creek Angler and we're continuing our work through Steve Scoose's book, Grayling Flies. This is fly number 52, the hare's ear gold head. You might um, find some strong similarities between this fly and the um, gold ribbed hare's ear. But um, in general, the fly is tied, according to the book, with a straight shank nymph hook and a gold bead at the top. I've altered that. Um, to include a jig and a slotted bead instead of a straight shank because the fly is the same 360 degrees around so I find using the jig hooks on flies that have that um, 360 degree perspective um, saves me losing some flies um, along the way. So in the bobbin I do have a number 12 syndicate super jig hook with a 3.5 slotted tungsten bead and I've got some olivey thread in my bobbin. So we're gonna just build up a little dam there in case that bead decided it wanted to work its way back and then we'll take our thread back to the back of the hook. We'll snip that close with a nice pair of scissors. The next thing that we're going to do is I do have a, um, a hair's mask here that I'm going to pull or cut away some fibers for for our tail. Um, lots of um, hare's ear flies are tied with a really short little stubby tail but um, according to the picture in the book this one has a pretty long tail um, so I'm going to tie that in a little bit longer than I would for a traditional gold ribbed hare's ear and um, we'll clip this material out at the top you can see as I did here with almost all of my nymphs I took whatever my tailing material was going to be and ran it all the way up to the top of the hook shank that is helpful as you are working on a taper. It was a, a errant long one. Instead of gold wire, I'm going to use some gold silky. Um, feel free to use the gold wire. I just find that the silky, um, silky material shows up just a, a little bit better as a rib than the wire. I'm certain that the that the wire would produce an a sturdier fly over time. Then all we're going to do to um, almost finish this fly is to use some of the underfur dubbing off of the hair's mask that we've already teased out and um, dub this fly from the bottom to the top. And you don't want this uh, overly spun on a, a you will even go in and probably pick some of these things out that the fish don't pick out themselves. Oftentimes when um, my dad requests a patch of nymphs, the first thing that he does when he gets to the stream is to take them out of whatever packaging I sent and um, stomp on them on a rock because he thinks they, um, they fish better after they have been destroyed a little bit. Now that we've achieved a little bit of a taper here, we're going to take the gold ribbing and come up to the top of the fly and cross over with the thread once, twice, and clip out. Now, in order to finish this, we'll take um, some more of the dubbing and add a collar. You could do any number of things here. You could um, tie this in in a dubbing loop. You could mix another color in. One of my favorite colors for um, two-toned hare's ears are to, is the red bloody black that's available in um, a number of the dubbing mixtures. And we're going to overdub this because we're going to pull it out uh, with either a, a dubbing brush or a gun cleaner brush or anything that you can go in and work to pull some of these these fibers back out. So I'm going to overdub this at the top intentionally so I've got some stuff to to pull out. And now I'm going to reach in and whip finish this fly off and we'll finish the, the picking out of the dubbing secondarily.
So either with a toothpick with some Velcro attached to it, or a dubbing brush, or a, um, a gun cleaner brush, just come in and rubs these out. And so you get, you'll end up with some fibers coming out of the side of this, just like that. And um, just to help with the legs or gills or whatever the fish might think that is. So here we have fly number 52. The hare's ear gold head tied on a jig hook instead of a straight shank nymph. So happy tying and uh, make sure you do get your hands on Steve Scoose's great book, Grayland Flies. Happy tying. <laughs>